Hi guys, welcome to Make 2 and the next episode of our Let's Build a World. Thanks for all the suggestions of what to call this world. I'm still not sure. We've had Blocked Landing was a really good one. Um, we've had lots of things with Paradise Island or Island in it. Um, but as someone very correctly pointed out on YouTube in the comments, it's actually going to be more than an island, it's going to be more of a world. So I'm thinking something like Maketopia or something like that. But uh, it's a work in progress, as is the rest of the island. Now, last week I'd finished off the outside of my cruise ship, and I promised that this week I would be doing the inside. So that's exactly what I'll be doing. I'm going to try and get to everything. First of all, I did a pool on the outside, because what cruise ship doesn't need a pool? No cruise ship. Or really bad cruise ships. And even they need a pool. So, there's a few different ways in. There's several... I think there's four different levels, so it's going to be a little bit tricky to show everything in a nice, clear way, but I'm going to give it my best shot. First of all, on this red floor, the main floor where you come in, each floor is colour-coded, by the way, just have some restaurant space. So here I've got a large table with chairs all around and just a fence post and carpet in the middle. This is a three-wide table. Separated off these different tables with just some foliage, to give a little bit of privacy to everybody, but not to spoil the view too much. Some more tables at different angles. Here's another way in. A final table. Here's some stairs going up. And here's some stairs going down. Uh, and this just tells you restaurant. So I put lots of signs so I remember and you guys know what's going on. So this is very clearly a restaurant. And here there's a plant in the corner. And through here is a very big sign saying authorised personnel only. I will try and get to all of the staff only sections at the end. But we're going to go upstairs because there's a little bit less to see up here. So oops, let's go upstairs. A little bit thin here because this is only three wide. Because obviously the, the ship tapers as you go up. So just a large expanse of green. Oops, I've got a slightly wrong colour there. This door is also for authorised personnel only, so we'll come to that at the end. And this, as the sign says, is an, you can just about see there, an observation deck. So I'll just put chairs facing different ways. So you've got two chairs facing one way, two chairs the next, all the way down. So that you can just sit here and look out and see the islands. There's our house on stilts all the way in the distance. In the other side over here, you can just about see that other nearby island. And you can go all the way to the end, you can look down to most of the rest of the ship. So that's the fourth floor. I think the thing that I worked out, it just took me a long time to work out how to best use the space and think what did I want on each floor, what therefore did I need to have available and what space could I use. So I wanted to have this bit at the back actually to access the bridge at the top and actually define this area for me. So if you're building something big like this, I think it's useful to try and divide it into sections. Now there's another, this bit's wrong here. I'm gonna replace this now live. This is the birth quarters. And I used cyan wool for the floor in the public space, another access point here to authorise personnel beneath the stairs. Some plants using just some grass on the ground. I tried having them up, but they actually they take up so much space it didn't look that great. And here are just some nice sofas for relaxing. And I've covered the top, this is actually the hull of the vessel in quartz, in blue carpet, just to make it look a bit more homely. Again from here, you can see, oh no, <laughs> I just broke the, <laughs> the window. Let's put the window back. Okay, you can see the use of carpet here, if I come to the side, and beneath that are glowstones. And very similar on the other side, a bit smaller, because obviously this section of wall starts a bit further away. Now this is the cabin quarters, and this actually took a long time, a lot of experimentation to get right. I want to design, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six cabins along this side and so they're all I think like five including the walls five wide so they're all very small these four one two three four and five are identical 
So let's take a look inside one. I wanted to give it a bit of a sense of space and also enough things in each of these berths just so each guest on the ship did have a, a little bit of creature comfort. So what my main thing in designing it, I tried having these steps facing outwards. These are all quartz blocks and quartz stairs facing outwards to try and give a texture to this wall. But it ended up I couldn't get the texture I wanted and also shut the doors and have the doors look shut without having gaps in it. So I came up with this technique, which so hollowed out normal facing stairs on the second block. So quartz block, quartz stairs, upside down quartz stairs, and do that along the main body of the wall. And that gives this nice kind of alcove area. It's kind of a built-in shelf. So if you're lying down in the bed or you're getting up walking around, you can leave your clothes here, maybe a book, maybe a lamp. And it just gives a bit more space to the room. Otherwise, it would feel just that bit smaller if you just had this being the edge. So I think that was one of the interesting things I did. The other thing, compromise I made, was I got rid of one of the bits of the hull. You can see that's actually proper hull. And I instead replaced it with quartz, oh dear, with quartz stairs, just so there would be a little seat here in the room. So every room has a seat and then two pieces of carpet for either sitting down or, oh look here, we can see the moon's already rising. Two bits of carpet for sitting on or lying on or throwing clothes on, a chest next to the bed, a lamp, a bed, and this two block wide shelf area. As I said, I repeated that all along this side and took a lot of experimentation to try and get just what I wanted in a small space. Just to show you, this is, oh, this is slightly different. <laughs> Cabin 5, I put twin beds in here. So this is bunk beds with a double chest, no nice carpet. I think this shelf becomes even more important as like a little bedside table for the person on the upper bunk. Let's just check out, did I do anything different in these? This one is identical. Another identical one in cabin two and cabin one, also identical. Now let's take a look at the suite at the end. It's the same floor area, which is three by three. Oh, sorry, missed that. Here we go, the cabin deluxe. <laughs> deluxe is meant in a, uh, well, it's not really deluxe at all. It is, it's got five, yes, five beds in the same three by three space. These shelves here become a little bit less important. And how I did this, I'm going to show you outside actually, but there's one chest shared between each of the two beds. And how you make these beds, let's find a little bit of space. I'll go here. Let's take a bed. And let's take ourselves a, a nice bright block. If you have a block here and a block here, you can then put a bed on top. You can then get rid of the blocks underneath and you have a floating bed and you can then because you've now got a new floor you can place the bed on the floor so that was a really cool discovery i didn't know you could do that and that's allowed me to have these sort of bunk beds throughout and the cabin deluxe uh ironically called to just squeeze in you know if there's a family who can't afford one of the bigger suites they can all stay in here or maybe a bunch of students traveling together on the other side there are two suites so i had a bit more space here Again, they're mirrored, they're basically identical, suite one and two. And this is a larger place. You can see I've, again, took me a while to get this right, but I wanted to have a bit of a step up in there. I wanted to have a seat, a sort of L-shaped seat, but I also wanted, if you're sitting here because you're paying good money, if you're sitting down, you can actually see outside. And that's what I've tried to go for here. So I think you can just about see everything. There's a double chest. You see, this is all just done in normal blocks, quartz blocks. And over here, carpet throughout on the extra surface, a double bed. And lower down here, I've gone for this sort of shelf space with the stairs and inverted stairs all the way around. I just think if you step back, that does just give a nice effect. Just, yeah, makes it, I think, look a little bit more homely and relaxed and, and pretty. So I, I think it's just a nicer place to stay. The only other thing to say about this is that these are on the port side. That means they are on the left side of the boat. Because that traditionally, if you're well, traditionally making the transatlantic crossing, that was where the rich people would stay. The rich people on the left on port side and the not so wealthy cabins would be on the right. 
This one's identical, as I said, but just mirrored. So here we have the stairs. And here we have the bedroom with, again, those inverted stairs. And I do think doing stairs and inverted stairs give you a lot of options for making interesting wall patterns. So I think I've only just got started with that. I think there's much more to explore. On this side, there's also a shower room. I had a little bit of space. So black and white. These iron railings are supposed to represent a tower rail, a heated tower rail. And here we have a sink. And here is, well, we can pretend this is a shower. Uh, I couldn't eat into the floor because that actually ends up being literally ocean, so too much water. Over here, there's just a pillow, and then you get to the start of these wraparound sofas. You can see these are all meant to be stairs going all the way around. And I imagine this being, you know, lots of cruise ships, they have entertainment for the guests. And this, this is now on the um, second floor, the one just below the, the bottom of the ship. This is where they'd all come to watch movies. So I've tried to build here. You can just see a little bit there how I've built it. Just with some very simple quartz blocks. A chandelier hanging from the ceiling. Uh, maybe I should have done those in in iron rather than wood, but anyway. And here's just paintings that simulate watching a movie. So there's hopefully enough space for all of the guests to enjoy the film while they're here. Not much lights in this area because obviously you want to be able to see the film. There's a door here, and this just takes you back to a little bit of a maintenance area of the ship. You can't see very much, particularly because it's night time. But here is where you would access the anchor, just past this block here. So just in case someone needs to access it, there's a door there and I should put a sign saying authorised personnel only. You wouldn't want one of the guests to go there by mistake. So this is the bottom floor for the guests and now we get into the area for the crew, which is a little bit more confusing because the crew don't need it to be as nice as they do for the guests themselves. Here we have just a small little room. This is under the stairs, remember, going up to the restaurant level. So just some storage here, because you can never have too much storage on a ship. Now here we access, as it said there, to the engines and storage. And here we switch from the carpet to brick, because we're getting into the engines and the furnace for the ship. So you want to make sure that everything's heat protected. Engine and coal. So here's just a strange little space. Here, I tried to put in a whole bunch of the furnaces to represent the engine. There's, I think, nine here. And if you go up here, you can climb up. And there's a tool chest around. You can't get to this. Oh, you go over here to access this area. So you can walk across and do any maintenance. And there's some shelves here you can leave your tools. So this is where you need to work on the engines. Even a lump of coal there to signify that down here, these are blocks of coal, uh, you know, just so pure coal, but this is coal ore. So you just, because otherwise it's so dark, you can't see what's here. And I put a light there, even though it's probably quite dangerous, because I wanted you to see what was back here. And again, all protected in this big, big wall of brick. So it's heat protected. And we came through this door, but there's another way up as well, up these stairs. And I'll show you where those stairs come out when we take a look at that later on. But there's, first of all, the downstairs here, bit here. And I said there'd be engines and storage, so this is where there's storage. Ship's storage. Here we have a long, long corridor. I imagine this being a bit like a Jeffers tube on a Star Trek ship. And here there's just some random bits, things used throughout the ship, maybe things they might need, some more different types of sponge and wood and whole different types of things. And then back here there's just a whole load well, you can see here there's two layers of chests. It's just lining here, so someone would have to crawl into the space, walk along, they've got glowstones all above so they can see what's going on, and just a whole load of chests. And this just goes all the way down to the vein. And then this through here, that's now at the front of the ship, and that's underneath the swimming pool and by the anchor. So above us right now is the cinema seats. So that's the bottom of the ship. Again, this black mark here on the floor, that actually is now, if I got rid of that, that would be ocean below. So I've tried to crown as much as I can in this bottom space. I think that's just, it's worked out pretty well. It's not super realistic, obviously, but that's Minecraft. 
Now, where to next? We're then going to go... Let's go up. So we've already seen that floor. That was just from... Oops. Yes. We're now on the restaurant level because we're in red. The floor below was under the stairs of the burst level. So here we are again. Restaurant level. There's a couple of seats here. Some more storage chests on that side. These are the steps we just came down. And the ones I, I told you about before. And we came up this steps. Oh, it is a bit confusing. And this takes us straight down to the engine room. And go up from the engine room. And here we are in... Well, it's kind of a middle room. It's not, not, not for use in anything particular. It says, here's an arrow pointing down. Engines and storage. Arrow pointing up. Kitchen and bridge. So let's make our way up. We're now on the green level. And this is the deck level. And here there's a kitchen which serves the floor below uh, because there was no space in the floor below. Uh, but here we have the kitchen just with these furnaces, not much else going on here. So very, very cramped. Uh, a little bit, you have to use your imagination. And then up we go to the top of the ship and here we are on the bridge. There's a trapdoor here. Bridge, so you know it's official. Here's just a little table going across these, these um, slab pieces. And this is just, have to imagine where all the consoles would be. If I had the PC or Xbox version of the game, I could put some more interesting things here, like levers and things, but obviously you can't at the moment in Minecraft Pocket Edition. And here you get a great view out over where the ship is heading. You can't quite see behind you, but you have to rely on your staff to help you, help you navigate. And what can we see out of there? We can just see another, the islands off to starboard to the right and there looking back we can see our old little original island all the way in the distance. So that I think has been all floor, all four floors. Let's come out again at the red level, the restaurant level. Let's now go out of the ship. So we had a restaurant on this level. Below that we had the berths which I think are my favourite part. That's the bit I spent you know a good couple of hours experimenting with them. Above that, just an observation deck on the green level. And then at the back of the ship, we have storage running all the way underneath to almost here. We had engine rooms. We had a kitchen. We had the bridge. We have the swimming pool. And of course, we had the cinema and sort of the auditorium for everybody. So that's it for my cruise ship. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please let me know in the comments below. Any thoughts and suggestions would be most welcome, though I don't think there's much more space for me to cram anything else in. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because more videos, including more Minecraft Let's Builds, will be coming soon. I've got lots of ideas of what's next, so please stay tuned. I've decided I will be heading back to the mainland. Uh, I did do a little bit of exploration of this island over here, but it's I think it's basically a continent, and I've, I need to build, concentrate on my main uh, continent all the way back over there for a while but doesn't mean I won't come back here at some point in the future. So stay tuned because there's lots more to come. Thanks for watching.